it's kind of like very 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 important especially when you're applying to several schools to know how to navigate between asking for an application waiver and actually getting it some of these small colleges have great and amazing scholarships that many people don't tend to look at because they're comparatively smaller than those bigger universities that I of you who know already know that if you stay till the end there's usually an extra scholarship hey guys welcome back to my channel mira moves here and thank you guys so much for the engagement on my last video i really appreciate the engagement on my last video thank you so much and um to all the new subscribers welcome 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 to the um returning subscribers thank you for always coming back and um to those of you who watch without subscribing i'm just gonna give you guys one second it only takes about one second to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the like button and then let's get started hi guys mira moves here in today's video we'll be talking about university scholarships for current or graduating high schoolers there are some people who are current graduates or who just completed high school or are almost completing high school like they are in their final year they are looking at starting uni they are looking at starting college and they want university for undergrad and that's what today's video is about so if this is the kind of content that you would like to watch please stay tuned mira moves here welcome back and in today's video, we're just gonna delve straight into it we'll be talking about universities for students who literally just completed um, ss so secondary schools or people who are in their final year or secondary school and they want to start making moves to attending college with full funding of course i got you with full funding so those of you who are interested in master's scholarship as well some of these universities that i would be mentioning also have masters and phd components to them but because my main focus for today's video is undergrad i kind of like picked out only the undergraduate requirements for these scholarships but some of these schools actually have both undergrad and grad scholarships that are full funded so i would say those of you who are interested in graduate school as well don't click out kindly stay and just look at the links in the description box and click to see which ones are best suited for you so to start off the video today the very first scholarship that i'll be talking about in today's video is from the USA. So it's a Groove City College full funding um, financial needs scholarship for prospective 2021 and 2022 students. The name of the university is Groove City College. So it's more like a community college. I personally have attended a private university slash a small university before and they are really, really, really in depth like the the community shout out to guilford college in greensboro north carolina for always um providing the support for internationals um i really had a great time when i did the study abroad program with guilford college back in north carolina so some of these small colleges have great and amazing scholarships that many people don't tend to look at because not comparatively smaller than those bigger universities that are like state owned. So the Groove City College is providing a full funding plus medical benefits, financial needs scholarship for prospective 2021 as 2022 students. Um, their requirements are that you must be an international student. They didn't specify if you need to be like African or Asian. They just want you to be an international student, which means you don't have to be a US citizen or like a permanent resident of the US. You have to be an international student. Roof um, City College um, here in the US is providing a financial needs scholarship for prospective 2021 slash 2022 students. Their requirements are that you need to be like your recommendation letter and your recommendation needs to come from an accredited secondary school. So secondary school necessarily doesn't have to be the secondary school where you have your recommendations from. I'll be leaving the link where you can see how to get like the best letters of recommendation from people who are going to speak well and highly of you. The letters of recommendations or the LORs have a very great impact on how your application packet as a whole goes. Third requirement is you have to have one of those standardized examinations like SATs, which is the Scholastic Aptitude Test, 
ACT is the American College Testing Program or CLT, the Classic Learning Test or the TOEFL. So these are the standardized tests that if you have according, along with your application packet, it's going to give you a boost and it's going to make you stand out in your application. The recommendation letters should show excellent character and spirituality. So um, they also want, because I believe it's probably a Christian school or they have a strong spiritual background or spiritual values for the school. So they want your recommendation letter to speak about your spirituality as well, how overall grounded or how rounded your spirituality is. And it must be from a spiritual leader. Those of you who have a spiritual leader in like church or a masjid or a mosque or any spiritual place you attend for your spirituality you just need to make sure a leader there knows you well enough to write something great on your behalf and that is going to go a long way in impacting how your application packet goes i need you to have a strong background in english so those of you who are from a non-english speaking country might have an issue or if you have a if you are not so strong in your english a, it might have an issue for your application as well because they specifically want you to have a strong background in your speaking and your writing of the English language. There are so many programs that they are providing in this um, scholarship. The scholarship covers so many programs and they specify that if you are applying to the STEM related programs, you need to have some level of calculus and you need to have some level of college prep courses as um, that's going to give you a boost or an edge in your application. So they need you to already have an idea of some calculus that you can actually prove, maybe some um, edX course or maybe some Coursera course that you've done on calculus and you've completed and they've given you that certification that you've indeed completed. You can actually attach it to your um, application packet because it's going to go a long way to boost your scholarship process. And also, they specify that there is an application fee waiver for the $50 application fee that there is. Um, I spoke about how to request an application fee waiver in one of my videos, of which I'll be linking up here. Um, it's kind of like very, very, very important, especially when you're applying to several schools to know how to navigate between asking for an application waiver and actually getting it because it's 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 quite a lot on the pocket to be honest to keep paying these application fees 50 to 75 usd if you're applying to like 10 schools that's a lot of money right so you need to be able to request an application fee waiver and be granted an application fee waiver upon request and like i said you can watch that video where i talked about how i personally requested for several application fee waivers and had mine approved finally the groove city college would have the applications closing in november 1st so that's a long way that's why i put this first if you need to get your documents ready if you need to get your scores ready if you need to get all of those the coursera course they were mentioning from now to november is a long time so that gives you ample time to get your stuff prepared and apply all the best guys well guys that's the end of this video i came here as soon as i saw it as always and if you've watched till this time you've not subscribed you've not liked you've not shared please and please please and please subscribe until next time